Hello, <clears throat> hello everyone. This is Blood Queen Tara, and I am here to do a quick check in reading, a check in pop up, pop in reading for Divine Masculine. My um, device is occupied, uh, is uploading Divine Feminine's weekly reading for this week. So I'm a little bit behind with my weekly readings. So that's why I'm doing a pop in reading, a check in. I did one yesterday for Divine Feminine, and I'm doing a check in pop in reading right now for Divine Masculine. Um, since I, since I'm not, since the, uh, weekly readings is a little bit delayed, a little bit. So, um, so I just want to say, I've been, um, screwing up my dates <laughs> all week. Like, I've been getting my dates mixed up. Um, I, oh, I uploaded Divine Feminine's, uh, check-in reading yesterday. <laughs> And I put the wrong date, so I had to go back and like edit it, edit it and fix it. And um, I just changed my calendar right here, and I put the wrong date, so I had to literally go check my calendar. I just been just off this week concerning my, the calendar and dates. <laughs> so yeah. So, I'm going to just go ahead and jump in. So, Divine Masculine, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate. Other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So, this reading can manifest today. Oh, this check-in reading is for today. Um, I know it's a little bit later in the day, but I'm still um, gearing this reading for today. So, like I was saying, this reading can manifest for you today. It can manifest later on down the line of time after today. Or well, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, Divine Masculine, then it might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to keep this reading like no more than a half hour. I'm gonna try my best. Um, so I didn't get any messages during the pre-shuffle. So I'm gonna just go ahead on. So Divine Masculine, I'm going to do some um, positive energy from this deck right here. So, it's positive energy only. This deck, I use this deck for little to for little to no karmic energy from this deck right here. So, Divine Masculine, I'm going to pull and see positive energy only that you can expect for today. And my hands is ashy. And my nail broke today. And I was a little upset. But hold on. Okay, so I had to put some lotion. My hands was just ashy. All right. All right. So, give me some positive energy for divine masculine today. Oh, and um, I meant to say too, happy Father's Day to all the divine masculines, all the um fathers, the males, the men. Happy Father's Day to you guys. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a coincidence, but it's not. You know, I'm doing a video on Father's Day. Um, this uh, check-in for Father's Day. So I hope you guys, the by masculine, that you guys are enjoying enjoying your Father's Day today. So, all right, we had a summer. So the by masculine, whatever po positive energy that you could be experiencing today, it might last the whole summer. And this came out for divine feminine as well. So something might last the whole summer, or something might last. Until the first day of summer. So the first day of summer is the 21st. So that's in like two days. So the my masculine, something could be going good for you today until the 21st. And we have yeah, twin flames. Yep. Yep. So the my masculine, something's going on with you concerning your twin. Or something involving twin flames. Or you being a divine masculine, a twin. Yeah, then we have on fire. It came out sideways. So I'm kind of like picking up the same energy that I picked up in Divine Feminine's uh, check-in reading yesterday. So Divine Masculine, you could be interacting with your Divine Feminine and she's winning. Like you guys could be playing games. Y'all at a carnival. Um, or y'all competing or both of you guys could be gamers. And um, Divine Masculine, you could be playing up against your Divine Feminine. And um, Divine Masculine, you could be um, losing to your Divine Feminine. 
Yeah. So Divine Masculine, um, I don't know if you and your Divine Feminine could be in union or whatever, but you guys could be like on vacation or something. Yeah, y'all could be on vacation. Y'all could be trying to balance something out. Y'all bring a balance. Maybe in the past, Divine Masculine, you and your Divine Feminine worked all the time. Y'all was working. Work, 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 work. No play. So it's like Divine Masculine, you and your Divine Feminine, and of course, it's Father's Day. Divine Masculine, I don't know if you have kids. But you and your Divine Feminine is playing. Y'all taking it easy, vacation, outings. Y'all could be at a festival, a carnival, things like that. Yeah. <laughs> so Divine Masculine, you could feel as though your Divine Feminine is outshining you. Or she's winning like some games or something. But it's not really a too big of a deal to you, Divine Masculine. Yeah. It ain't no big deal to you. You're enjoying the company of your Divine Feminine. Yeah. So, Divine Master, I don't know if you could have proposed to your Divine Feminine. And y'all could just be in the midst of celebrating. For the next couple of days, y'all celebrating. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it say adapt. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so that's the positive energy going on for you, Divine Mac. Wait, let me see something. Let me see. Clarify the summer. Clarify the summer. Hidden. Okay. So, Divine Masculine, you don't know exactly what's going on. Okay, so yeah. Um, Divine Masculine, you could be a little bit confused. Um, but it's positive energy. So divine masculine, I don't know if your divine feminine could be very happy and you looking at her like is not that serious, but okay, if you're happy, if that makes you happy, then I'm happy. So it's like divine masculine, either the whole summer or something is going on between you and your divine feminine is positive energy. And you're going to be confused until like the first day of summer. Or you're going to be able to accept something. Something that's hidden. You don't understand something. Yeah, something with your divine feminine, divine masculine. <laughs> it's hidden. Something could be confusing to you. Or divine masculine, you don't know why. Divine masculine, say like you and your divine feminine playing tic-tac-toe. And in the past, Divine Masculine, you was a master. You always won tic-tac-toe. But it's like, for the past couple of days, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine been winning. And you trying to figure out why. Yeah. Yeah, you could be trying to figure out why, what's going on with you. And Divine Master, I heard it could be because you're evolving. So you could be falling, like, deeper in love with your Divine Feminine. So you losing, like, the game. Or games you guys are playing or something. Or something like that. <laughs> Clarify Twin Flame. Something like that going on. Yeah, take flight. Yeah, something's taking flight concerning your Twin Flame connection. Or Divine Masculine. Your Divine Feminine could be very easy to please. She's not like too much high maintenance. She's plain and simple. And you don't understand that Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, you probably want to spend like 5 G's on your Divine Feminine. But she's like only letting you spend like 2. So something could be, yeah, something like that. Divine Masculine, I'm picking up, you don't understand something. But something's taking flight. Y'all could be going on an airplane, y'all could be traveling. Or Divine Masculine, like I said, you could be ascending. You, you're ascending, you're maturing, or you're falling in love, like deeper in love with your Divine Feminine. So you're kind of like a little bit off a little bit, Divine Masculine. <clears throat> yeah, something's taking flight, and that's why you could be a little bit confused. Because I'm picking up a little bit confusion of confusion. Because Divine Masculine, you, you're not understanding why your gaming skills is not on fire. Or why or why your Divine Feminine keep, keep beating you at your own game or y'all playing a game. 
you're not understanding why she keeps winning or something. Clarify on fire sideways. Yeah, this is positive though. Yeah. Yup. So Divine Master, you're having a hard time at um something. And um it's still positive. You're having a hard time doing something and it's energy being on fire. Or Divine Masculine, you could be a tinge, like it's a tinge of like sadness about you. A tinge. So you're interacting with your Divine Feminine. She's happy. She's overjoyed. But Divine Masculine is a tinge of sadness with you. But it's still positive. Spirit want me to tell you. Divine Master, I don't know if you're if you're afraid that you're going to like mess up the union. Or you could be starting to feel insecure or something. Or something could be too good to be true. That's how you feel. But Divine Master in the cards is saying you being sideways. Like you're probably not as happy as your Divine Feminine. Or you don't understand why your Divine Feminine is so happy or something. But Spirit is saying it's still positive. And it's still love. You love your Divine Feminine and she loves you. So it's positive. Yeah. Or Divine Masculine, you don't understand why your Divine Feminine love you so much. You could you, pro you could probably feel unworthy a little bit. Just a little bit. A tinge. But Spirit is saying that's positive. It's positive energy. Yeah. Something like that going on with your Divine Masculine. But that's all positive energy. Alright. So let me pull three cards from this deck right here. Okay, and they say you will regret messing with the chosen one. <laughs> so divine feminine, I don't know if spirit could be rebuking you. Divine masculine, you could be keeping secrets from your divine feminine. And you could probably feel guilty. That's probably what this is. You're probably feeling guilty. Or divine masculine, you want to do something to your divine feminine that's not right. Or you want to manipulate her or something. And spirit is saying divine masculine, think twice. You will regret messing with the chosen one. Yeah. So, Divine Master, I don't know what you're thinking. You want to be sneaky? I don't know if you want to cheat on your Divine Feminine after you could have proposed to her or something. Or uh, something. And then we got Sage of Space. Divine Masculine, you know what? Um... Your karmic or an ex-lover of yours could be doing spell work on you. So, Divine Master, you could be thinking about your ex. And it might come out of nowhere. So, Divine Master, I don't know if um you could be having intercourse with your Divine Feminine. And then out of the blue, it's like you're not enjoying it. And you don't know why. And it could be because a karmic or some karmic energy. A karmic could be doing um spell work on you, Divine Master. Or one of your exes. I just picked that up, too. So that you you will regret messing with a chosen one could be divine masculine for one of your karmics or whoever could be trying to interfere with you and your divine feminine's uh, twin flame connection. This person is going to regret it. Yeah. All right. Give me three messages for divine masculine. <clears throat> okay. And three just came out. So we have success. So divine masculine, something is successful. Something is a success. Yeah. So this could have been you proposing and your divine feminine said yes. Psychic powers clairvoyant. Mm hmm So divine masculine, you what's clairvoyant? Is that hearing? Clairvoyant. Or is that speaking? Divine masculine, you or somebody else is doing something intuitively. And it's going to be a success or something like that. Or Divine Masculine, um, Spirit could have gave you a download about something to say to your Divine Feminine. Spirit told you to say something to your Divine Feminine. And you might uh, step out on faith and do it. And it's going to be a success. Dark Knight of the Soul, The Purge. Hmm. I just also heard a ricochet. Something, some, somebody doing spell work, Divine Master. 
So I don't know if it's you or one of your karmics or something. Or Divine Masculine, you could... It's like Divine Masculine, you're not necessarily going through a dark night of the soul. But you're doing like some shadow work. Unbeknownst to your Divine Feminine. It's between you and spirit. You're doing some type of shadow work. And it could be about your intuition, Divine Masculine. Clairvoyant. All right. So, yeah. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have, you have the gift of courage. So, Divine Masculine, Spirit wants you to know that you have the gift of courage. Like, you can do something. Divine Masculine, you can do it. Divine Masculine, you could be under some type of psychic attack or you could be getting something, somebody, some karma. And it's between you and God. Your Divine Feminine probably don't even know. Or Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine know, but she forgave you. And Divine Masculine, you could be saying, if I was her and she did that to me, I would have left her. But I did that to her and she didn't leave me. Something you going through, Divine Masculine. Something is successful, but you it's a tinge of sadness about you or you feel discouraged about something. I don't know. Even in spite of this success. And some type of psychic power is clairvoyant. Or Divine Masculine, I don't know if your Divine Feminine could have t t like uh, told you something in the past and it's coming true today. And Divine Masculine, you could be like, damn, how she know? I don't know if you feel inferior to your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because of her intuition. Yeah, something like that going on. Divine Masculine, it could be concerning your ego and things like that because you a man or something. It could be something to do with your ego. So your Divine Feminine could have told you something clairvoyant, clairvoyantly. And it's manifesting today. And Divine Masculine, you, you going through a dark night of the soul? Are you scared? I don't know if you scared of your Divine Feminine. You could be a tad bit scared of her. I don't know, Divine Masculine. But let's see what's going on. Or Divine Masculine Spirit gave you a message to say to your Divine Feminine... And you could be scared to tell her. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But let's see. What's going on with Divine Masculine for today? What's going on? Okay. Something to do with the 12th house. Hidden truths. Yeah. And your positive energy hidden came out. Secrets. Dreams. Dreams one has. Hidden strengths and weaknesses. The unconscious and karma. Yeah. So what's the 12th house? Um, so if I'm asking, you could be a Pisces. Don't have to be. Because Pisces rule the 12th house. Um, so, yeah, something's going on with somebody. There could be um, secrets going on here. Or Divine Masculine, you know something intuitive, intuitively that spirit could be telling you to tell your Divine Feminine. And you, for whatever, for whatever reason, you're scared to tell her. Or something. Or do I'm asking you scared to propose or something? Yo, divorce. Broken relationship, lost connection, severed ties, a divorce. All right. So divine masculine, I don't know if um when you first met your divine feminine. You told her you never was married before. But in fact, Divine Masculine, you have been married before. And that could have been the secret you, you kept from your Divine Feminine. So, Divine Masculine, you have been married and you experienced divorce. Divorce. So, that's probably what this is. Divine Masculine, you told your Divine Feminine you never was married. So, Divine Feminine thinks she's your first wife, Divine Masculine. Oh, that's what you feel guilty about. And there's probably a little bit more to that too. 
<sighs> Heartbreaker. Or Divine Masculine, you could still be grieving from your previous divorce or your previous marriage. It's like you proposed to your Divine Feminine. She said, yeah, it's all good. But Divine Masculine, you could still be healing from your previous marriage or something like that. And I don't know if spirit could be in could be encouraging you to tell your divine feminine that. Like open up to her and tell her that. Or something. But we have heartbreaker. A person who can break easily. Who a person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. Mm. So divine masculine, you could feel a little bit unworthy. Or divine masculine, you scared that uh you gonna cheat on your divine feminine later on down the line of time and she's gonna leave you you fear that like that's your worst fear like you and your divine feminine getting a divorce divine master i don't know if you're if you're afraid that your divine feminine is a heartbreaker or divine masculine you know in the past you was a heartbreaker yeah something's troubling you divine masculine Off the grid. Whew. Being cooped up in their room, not socializing, being a hermit, not on social media. All right. So, Divine Masculine, you could be putting on a brave face for your Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine could be out and about with her friends. And Divine Masculine, you told your Divine Feminine, I'm going to just stay in. I'm staying in. Because the white mask is something going on with you with secrets. Or you could have had a dream. Something to do with your weaknesses. Or you're getting some type of karma or something. The white mask. The white mask. I don't know if um your third party could have left you. Because she found out about the white feminine. So you could be going through that. You off the grid the white mask. Because of a heartbreaker. Well, I don't know if you fighting some temptation or something. I don't know. What's going on with you, Divine Masculine? Clarify the 12th house. What's going on with this 12th house? Somebody off the grid. They cooped up in hermit mode. A split personality. Acting differently around you and the next person. Not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people. Mm. Divine Masculine, I don't know if you could have been messing around with one of your Divine Feminine's friends or family members. And Divine Masculine, you feel funny because something like that going on. Or Divine Masculine, you got a split personality. I don't know. What's going on with divorce? Somebody keeping a secret about somebody with a split personality and a distorted masculine. Divine masculine, I don't know if this was you in the past. You thinking about your past. A distorted masculine or divine masculine. Maybe you got daddy issues. Maybe your father was a distorted masculine, divine masculine. Or this was you in the past. Abuse of power, force, and domination, fear of weakness, competition driven, inability to praise another. Okay, yeah, I see it, Divine Masculine. <clears throat> Divine Masculine, you're ascending and you're trying to get rid of your that lingering karmic energy of you being distorted and you having the inability to praise another. So, like I said, Divine Masculine, you could be interacting with your Divine Feminine and she's winning something. It could even be your heart. And you don't like that. Because maybe in the past, Divine Masculine, you used to be a distorted masculine. But at the same time, Divine Masculine, you could be falling in love with your Divine, with your divine Feminine. But you don't want to lose her at the same time. But you're fighting a struggle between the old you and the new you. That's what this is, split personality. Yeah. 
Divine Masculine, I think you had the inability to praise another. And it could have been your Divine Feminine. Or you feel intimidated by your Divine Feminine's father or something. Or you're intimidated by your Divine Feminine's husband. Or her ex-husband, I mean. Your Divine Feminine could have kids by her ex-husband or something. Mm. Divine Masculine, I think you're like in the past, you used, you have the tendency, Divine Masculine, to be an abuser. But you're trying to fight off those demons, Divine Masculine, and just love your Divine Feminine. I think I see something like that going on. Or this was your father. Um, today is Father's Day, so... Um, something going on with you with Divine Masculine. Uh, clarify Heartbreaker. Long distance. A strong emotional commitment to another who is far away and often beyond physical access most of the time. So Divine Masculine, you could have a third party. And you feel guilty. You can have a third party. Or you miss your third party. Or Divine Master, I don't know if you... You wish that your father was more supportive of you. Divine Master, you either have... Um, a guilty conscience. Because you can have a third party. A long distance relationship. And you're doubting your divinity. Or Divine Masculine, your father could be long distance. And you wish you had a better relationship with him. Because you need some type of help or guidance with something. And it could be about marriage or fatherhood or something. Clarify off the grid. Yeah, married. Mm. Being cooped up in their room, not socializing, being a hermit, not on social media. Yeah, Divine Master, I think um you got a third party somewhere and you're married and you probably feel guilty. And your divine feminine just happy or something, and she don't know that you cheating or something. Or divine masculine, you could be dating a married woman. You could be dating a married woman and you love this woman or something. Divine Masculine, I just heard that you know, you know, if you're interacting with your Divine Feminine, you know that you cannot be this distorted masculine around your divine feminine and y'all relationship survive. So you're purging. You is going through a dark night of the soul. Because you know you can't be this distorted masculine, divine masculine. But I think that's who you really are right now. And your divine feminine don't know. So divine masculine, this split personality could be you. Because you know Divine Masculine, being a distorted masculine is going to lead to a divorce. You already know that. So, yeah. Mm, yeah, Divine Masculine, you like in a dilemma a little bit. Yeah. Excuse me. Or Divine Masculine, you could be in separation from your Divine Feminine. Y'all relationship is long distant and you probably miss her. You could be married to your divine feminine, but y'all separated. Or something. What's going on with 12th house and this split personality? Yeah, we got the eight of cups. Yeah. 
So Divine Masculine, you could be emotionally walking away from being this split, from having a split personality. Or somebody walked away from you because you had a split personality. And I think this person don't know exactly what was going on or the whole story about why you had this split personality. Or Divine Masculine, you could have been divorced in the past. And you're on the verge of like your second divorce. So your first wife divorced you. And it's like your second wife. Y'all could be on the verge of divorce. So you guys could be in a like separation. Or something like that. Somebody's emotionally walking away from somebody. Because somebody got split personalities. But something is a secret. It's because of secrets. Or divine masculine, you can have like mental health issues or something. And you don't want to tell your divine feminine. You don't want to tell her. So you could be emotionally walking away divine masculine from keeping a secret. You want to tell her. It was your pleasure to keep this secret from her that you got a split personality. Or that you were sleeping around with one of your divine feminine's friends or something. That was your, that was like, that brought you happiness, Divine Masculine, to keep a secret. But something is no longer bringing you happiness. Divine Masculine, you want to confess something as well. Or somebody want to confess something to you. Clarify divorce and distorted masculine. Or Divine Masculine, you scared that you're going to end up like your father or something. Something like that going on. Give me tarot for divorce and distorted masculine. Yeah, we got the higher font. Yeah, somebody could be going through a divorce or this happened in the past. The higher font. Yep. So there was a the marriage in the past. Or divine masculine, you just doing shadow work and you're still healing. It's lingering karmic energy, lingering heartbreak from your uh, previous marriage or something like that. Or Divine Masculine, you still in contact with your ex-wife. You could be still in contact with your ex-wife. But you know she a karmic Divine Masculine. So you know it's best to just let her go. Because you're on the verge of marriage, of remarrying somebody else. But your ex-wife was a karmic. And you know it's best to just let that go. Because you want you wanna you wanna be married or something. Or you marry somebody else. Give me Tarot for this heartbreaker and long distance. You hear the six of wands. <clears throat> So this could be letting me know, Divine Masculine, you or somebody else is getting a victory over somebody being a heartbreaker and somebody's at, uh, somebody being long distance because of a heartbreaker. So you could be getting a victory over that, Divine Masculine. Or you want to get a victory over this. You don't want to be a heartbreaker no more and be in separation from maybe your Divine Feminine or your wife or something. Or you don't want to go through a divorce again. So you could be getting a victory over this. You breaking somebody else's heart or you allowing somebody to break your heart. You could be getting a victory. Or this heartbreaker is could be a narcissist or something. Divine Masculine, your ex-wife could have been a narcissist. Or your third party. Or something could be being brought to somebody's attention about somebody that's off the grid that somebody is married or something. Uh, Divine Masculine, I also just heard it's obvious today that you're married. It's obvious. So Divine Masculine, you could have been playing around with a third party. And I don't know if you have kids by this woman, this third party. But Divine Masculine, it's Father's Day. And where are you? You're off the grid because you're married. 
Yeah. So you know that something is going to be brought to somebody's attention. <laughs> Divine masculine, you could have told this woman, sure, I'll be there. I'll spend Father's Day with you. And Divine Master, you off the grid and you could have blocked your third party. So this woman already know what's up. In spite of you lying to her or something, Divine Master. Yeah, something like that going on. Give me Tarot for off the grid and Mary. Yeah, we got the moon. Somebody disappointed. Or Divine Masculine, you could be upset because your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you could be stuck with a karmic and your Divine Feminine could be out having fun. And you can't believe it. You can't believe it, Divine Masculine. The moon, you could be very disappointed because you married or you married a karmic. Oh. Divine Masculine, I don't know if your karmic wife could be telling you if you divorce her, then that means you're a distorted masculine. If you divorce her, she could be telling you that. Yeah. Or somebody telling you that. Divine Masculine, you could be married to a narcissist. And you miserable. And you could be upset because your Divine Feminine is out having fun. I don't know how you know she out having fun, Divine Masculine. Or something like that. Let me see. Let me put some more. What's the issue going on out here? Somebody is like depressed. Somebody is like dark a little bit, keeping secrets. What's the issue going on out here? Yeah, it's a secret that somebody... It's a secret about why somebody is off the grid. But they're off the grid because they're married. And this person that's married could be disappointed. Or somebody that's married is a secret enemy to somebody. Or somebody is a secret enemy to somebody because somebody is married. So Divine Masculine, I don't know if your karmic lover or your karmic wife is um after your divine feminine or something what's the issue going on here what's the issue give me the issue too soon yep fell in love too fast somebody fell in love too fast and i think somebody was married so divine masculine you fell in love with somebody and I don't know. Somebody fell in love too fast. Or somebody got married too fast. Somebody might regret being married or getting married. Oh, man. So, let me see. This off the grid. Is this the right master? No. It's not you. So, the right master. Somebody is off the grid because they're married. And it's a secret to you. So the white masculine, you, I don't know. Divine masculine, you could have been chasing a karmic female. She could be a narcissist. She's a heartbreaker. And she could be married. So the white masculine, you depressed. I don't know if your divine feminine told you about this karmic. She tried to warn you about this karmic, divine masculine. And what your Divine Feminine told you could actually be, be, be happening today. Divine Master, I also see in the cards that you could have divorced your Divine Feminine in the past. And you got together with the, with the third party and she's breaking your heart. So it's like you divorced your Divine Feminine. Because you was a distorted masculine. But when you got with this karmic divine masculine. She's a karmic. So she taught you a lesson. Yeah. In the past divine masculine. You're realizing that in the past. When you divorced your divine feminine. You was being a distorted masculine. And this heartbreak of this karmic broke your heart divine masculine. And it could have been karma because you broke your divine feminine heart. And Divine Masculine, it's like you left your Divine Feminine for the karmic, and the karmic is leaving you for somebody else. 
Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Divine Masculine, you could be trying to get in touch with a woman. And she's not answering you. She's off the grid. And it's, she could be getting married. Or Divine Masculine, your worst fear could be your Divine Feminine leaving you. Or something. <laughs> Or that's your worst fear, your divine feminine um, marrying somebody else. That's like your worst fear. Because you, something like that going on. Let me see, this off the grid energy, is this a karmic? Is this a karmic? No, it's not. Yeah. Divine Master, I think this off the grid and this Mary is you being paranoid. You could be having a nightmare, Divine Masculine. <clears throat> Divine Masculine, I don't know if you did this to your Divine Feminine in the past. You could have ghosted her and got married. And you since then divorced. But your worst fear, Divine Masculine, is that your Divine Feminine do this to you, what you did to her in the past. Because it's the moon, Divine Masculine, you paranoid. Yeah, you paranoid. That's paranoia. Mm. Divine Master, I think you've fallen in love. You're in love. You're falling in love. And you're thinking like the worst. It's like Divine Master to a certain extent. This is either you having a guilty conscience or you're just fearing the worst because you're falling in love and you don't know what to expect. You don't know if your divine feminine are heartbreaker. You don't know if y'all going to end up getting a divorce. You don't know if you're ready for marriage. Am I a distorted masculine? Am I still a distorted masculine? I don't know. All I know is I love this woman and I don't want her to um, marry nobody else. So what am I going to do? Divine Masculine, you could be fighting, like, uh, facing your fears or something. Yeah, you backed in the corner because you're scared. You don't want to lose your Divine Feminine, but you kind of don't trust her. You don't want to lose her, but you don't trust her. Or you don't trust yourself. Or you don't know what to do. Yeah. Um, what's the T with um, 12th house, split personality, and 8 cups? Bro, Lord have mercy. <sighs> Divine Master, you or somebody else is broke. Or Divine Master, you just insecure that you can't take care of your Divine Feminine because you broke. So that's why you have split personality or something. I don't know. Or in the past, your ex-karmic wife divorced you because you didn't have no money. Divine Masculine, maybe your ex-wife told you you was a distorted masculine because you was always broke or you couldn't keep a job. Something. What's the tea with divorce, distorted masculine, and higher form? Talking shit, head in the clouds, and waiting. Yeah. Divine Masculine, I think in the past, you was married to a karmic. And this woman told you that you're a distorted masculine. This woman told you you was a karmic. And it could have been for vain reasons, Divine Masculine, because you was broke or um, you didn't reach a level of success that this one, woman wanted you to reach. So somebody was talking. This is somebody talking shit. And Divine Masculine, your head is in the clouds and you're waiting. You could be waiting to get more income or something. Or you're hoping for the worst or something like that, Divine Masculine. Because in the past, somebody used to talk shit to you. And told you you was a karmic because you was broke. And that's not true. Um, What's the tea with Heartbreaker... What's the tea with heartbreaker, long distance, and a six of wands? Yeah, a dirty offer, yeah. What's the tea with off the grid, Mary and the moon? Romantic love affair. 
Romantic love affair, sex, fake, secret lover, F buddy. Yeah, so Divine Master, I also see too that you could have um you could be in the midst of a divorce. You was married to a karmic. And you scared Divine Master while you're going through this divorce that your divine feminine is gonna get married. Or that she's sleeping with somebody. So Divine Master, I don't know if your divine feminine, you can't call her because of the karmic. In this divorce, or your divine feminine got you blocked or something. So it's like your worst fear, divine masculine, that um your divine feminine is off the grid because she's married, or you fear that she's gonna get married to somebody else. So in divine masculine, you and this karmic could be going through hell. She talking shit to you. You in your head, you miss divine feminine, and you're just waiting for this divorce. You're waiting for a divorce. And you broke. Oh, that's an oh, okay. So yeah, something like that going on. Yeah, you could be broke because of this divorce. Or the divine masculine, you know after this divorce that you might be broke. So this broke ass. Is this the divine masculine? No. Broke ass. Is this a thought of the divine masculine? Is these divine masculine's thoughts? This broke ass. Yeah. So do I'm asking you in your head. And it's telling me you in your head. Your head is in the clouds. Yeah. So do I'm asking you just thinking the worst. You the moon. So that's paranoia. You're paranoid that your divine feminine might get married. Or she's already married to somebody. Or she has a romantic love affair with somebody else. While you're going through this divorce. Or do I'm asking. Um, yeah. Divine Master, I don't know if the issue is you fell in love with this karmic too fast and you didn't know she was a karmic. Or your Divine Feminine fell in love with you too fast and you was married, Divine Master. Or something. Somebody fell in love too fast and that's the issue. So either you or your Divine, or your divine Feminine fell in love too fast. So Divine Master, I don't know if your Divine Feminine could have fell in love with you before you could tell her that um, you were married. Whew. This dirty offer. Is this divine master giving somebody a dirty offer? Mm -mm. Yeah. Divine master, I think this karmic could have gave you a dirty offer. This karmic, you could have married this karmic divine masculine and you could have found out that she was cheating on you. So divine masculine, you could have been a third party the whole time you was married to this karmic. Because she could have been in love with somebody else. And now you guys are getting a divorce. Uh, something like that. Dirty offer. Is this a karmic? Is this the karmic? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you in your head. You got something to do with secrets. So, give me some information on the moon. Purpose. Yeah. Purpose. Divine Masculine, you're paranoid about your purpose. You're wondering is, is somebody doing something on purpose? Or Divine Masculine, you're hoping that your Divine Feminine hope you're not doing something on purpose or something. Or this is happening for a reason. Divine Masculine, you being paranoid is for a reason. And it could be like karma a little bit too. Give me more information about talking shit. Talking shit. The fifth house. Damn. <laughs> so what's the fifth house? Is that cancer? All this water. We got Pisces, the 12th house, and then the fifth house. I think that's cancer. So it's one's hobbies, interests, leisure. Somebody talks shit all the time. Divine Master. What one does for entertainment? Talking shit. Somebody talks shit for entertainment. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So like I said, Divine Masculine, you married to this karmic. She's a karmic. You guys are going through a divorce. And this karmic can talk hella shit to you. And she makes you feel like a distorted masculine. Or that's what she tells you you are. And this karmic talks shit to you, Divine Masculine. It's, it's one of her hobbies. Oh, boy. Tell me about this broke ass. Tell me about this broke ass. Third house. How one process knowledge, rules, communication. Yeah. Divine masculine, that's just one of your fears. The third house, you go, you going to be broke after this divorce. Or that's what one of the things the karmic tell you, that you're going to be broke when she get finished with you. So it's how you process inside divine masculine. That broke ass is not necessarily true. It's how you're processing what this karmic is telling you. Divine Masculine, your karmic wife, she could have split personality. Or Divine Masculine, that's how this karmic make you feel like you have split personality. And it's probably not necessarily true. You're probably just in love with somebody else. And you want to divorce her. You're ready for a divorce. You're waiting. You want this divorce to be over. Yeah. Yeah, somebody a narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Divine Masculine, you married this karmic. She's a narcissist. She's a hater. And um, you have receipts, Divine Masculine. You have receipts that this karmic is a karmic. And I don't know if your Divine Feminine could be a bystander. Sitting back and watching it all happen, not standing up for oneself, being hurt or abused. Yeah. Yeah, Divine Masculine, I think your Divine Feminine could be a by bystander. She's sitting back and watching it all happen, whether she's aware of it or not, Divine Masculine. I think your, I don't know. Something like that going on. Yeah, somebody nosy. <laughs> Yeah, all up in your business, asking too many questions, wanting every single detail. Yeah, this karmic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Divine masculine. This woman you married, she a dog. She a dog. She dirty. She a karmic. She be all in your business. You don't have no type of privacy, divine masculine. She asks too many questions, and she want every single detail. Divine Masculine, you could be um, kissing this karmic behind because she's lying to you. Yeah, so Divine Masculine, this karmic, oh, well, well, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not going to say that. Um, yeah. Divine Masculine, you're taking some sort of, the some type of abuse from this karmic while y'all going through this divorce. Because you don't want to be broke, Divine Masculine. So you, it's like you don't want to anger her. You walk on eggshells. You don't want to anger this woman. Because you're thinking about your finances, Divine Masculine. Something like that. I don't know. But somebody is a dog. This person is nosy. And it's their um, hobby, what they do for leisure, for entertainment, Divine Masculine, to um, talk shit about you. Yeah, so you're dealing with an angry, bitter woman, a karmic... Divine Masculine, and I think you done married this woman. And y'all going through a divorce. Yeah, ex-lover. Yeah, she's soon to be your ex, though. There was a, a betrayal. Divine Masculine, this karmic used to project on you. Yeah, because you had money problems. I think Divine Masculine, this karmic used to call you a karmic because you had money problems. Yeah. Or she disrespected you because of your money problems. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm, or something. Or she blamed all her problems on you or something. But she's your ex. She's your soon-to-be ex. Her ex-lover. Or Divine Masculine is karmic of yours. 
she she was cheating on you with her ex lover. Yeah, legal issues, bad contracts, walking away. And divine masculine, you trying to keep a poker face because you're getting a little bit of it is karma. Divine masculine, some of this is karma. This karmic be eavesdropping. This karmic stalks you. You going through hell a little bit, divine masculine. Yep. So, Divine Masculine, that's what it is. This karmic could be doing spell work, too, because we got force at the bottom of the deck. So, this is my card for somebody that that, that, that does spell work. <coughs> Dark magic. Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, you divorced your Divine Feminine, and you regret it. And you could have married this karmic, or you left your Divine Feminine for this karmic. Oh, my God. And she's sending you through hell, Divine Masculine. It's, yeah, some type of spell work, dark magic. Yep. Divine Masculine, you was married to a karmic, her and her karmic friends. Mm-hmm. They're divination abusers. They're thieves. Divine Masculine, you could have had money problems because of this karmic and her divination abuse. Dirt digging, Divine Masculine. Now they want to call the cops on you or whatever, whatever. They stealing from you, but they want to call the cops on you. They're creativity munchers. And they be fishing for comments. But Divine Masculine is coming like to kiss your ass. So she can steal from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Divine Masculine, this karmic is just your karmic. And um, she's there to teach you a lesson. Some type of bad karma. This karmic could be a groupie. Yeah, Divine Masculine, at one point you was confused because you was dealing with an obsessive lover. Or Divine Masculine, at one point you was the obsessive lover, but this karma is worse than you. Yeah. Yeah, but let me end it. So, Divine Masculine, that's what I have for going on for you today. So, um, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Hold on. Let me pull an advice card. Let me pull an advice card for you, Divine Masculine. But Divine Masculine, you a man. You can handle it. It ain't that bad. It's showing me in the cards, y'all. You guys are getting a divorce. So, you all right. You just got to get out of it. Whew. But let me give you an advice card for this drama. That this karmic doing. What's the Divine Masculine advice for today for this energy? What's the Divine Masculine's advice from spirit? What is the Divine Masculine's advice? Patience. Spirit wants you to be patient, Divine Masculine. And you are because the card showed me you was waiting. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So, Divine Masculine, your advice from spirit is to continue to be patient. Accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah. So everything is going to happen according to divine timing, divine masculine. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what spirit, that's your advice is to be patient. Because this divorce is going to happen. Let me see. Let me pull a time card. When can divine masculine expect the finalization of this divorce? Mm. One year, one year and 10 months. So it might take a year. For some of you guys, it might take 10 months. Or for some of you guys, it could take almost two years, a year and 10 months. Yeah. And then we got four months. Divine Master, for some of you guys, this karma could be lying to you. This divorce might not take a year. It might take only four months. Yeah, this, that's the lie that Karma could be telling. Because the saying she talks shit. Yeah, so this is what she could be telling you. But it actually could take four months, Divine, Divine Masculine. Yeah, and it probably depends on if you get a good lawyer or something. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you want to uh, pray about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I have, Divine Masculine. Um, so this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Divine Masculine, enjoy your day.